What's up, what's up guys? Another day, another workout. And today the workout I brought to you is a nice one. It's a follow along workout. It's very easy. Anyone can do it. Beginner to an advanced um, trainer, which is awesome. So I want you guys to stop what you're doing. Just give me 10 minutes of your time. This is going to be literally under 10 minutes and follow along with me. All the exercises are quite simple, but I guarantee you it will leave you sweating and also getting those legs roasted. And I'm sure most of you want a nice little quick um, leg workout. So here it is for you guys. Um, like it's been requested, so I'm going to help you guys as much as possible. The beauty of this is there's no equipment needed as well too. So, and you can do this in the comfort of your own home. Hell, you can do this in your office in your break even and you've got a nice little workout to follow along to. So one of the beauties of it is you know it's only 10 minutes or under 10 minutes and that's it. That's all you need. So what we're doing with squats, a few tips with squats is pushing our knees out and then driving our hips to lift uh, uh, basically our torso up on the way up as well. So this is basically the same technique you're going to use when you are doing a conventional squat. So this will help you guys quite a lot. Um, and over here as well, most of the time you kind of want to be wearing flatter shoes than I am. These are pretty decent at moments. You can even go barefooted as well. Like I said, you're probably in the comfort of your own home. Uh, before, so look at me just doing a little bit of a dance. And yeah, but before this, I was um, doing some cardio. That's why I'm a little bit sweaty uh, to get started from. So I'm showing you all the angles. I personally like to do a nice little 360 while doing this workout because it kind of keeps me on track with the amount of reps. So the whole training is going to follow a similar structure. It's always going to be 10 reps and you basically, we're basically going to be rotating around as well. So it makes it feel different as well too. So again, when you guys are training at home, most of you guys should know, or even at the office, the motivation is the biggest part. And if you know you have to hit um, certain reps and certain sets at different points, it motivates you to keep going because you're like, I have to get this one, I have to get this one, okay? So this is a very easy way and a nice way to keep your workouts um, interesting and keep yourself accountable as well. It's all those little tricks that help you actually get through the workout. But at this point, your legs are going to start feeling nice and warm. You're going to be getting a nice little roast in your legs and you're going to feel those muscles work because that's the beauty of it, Okay. Again, a few tips, making sure we're rotating our knees slightly out. And I put my hands out in the front because that actually helps me with a lot of balance uh, when you guys are doing squats without any weights pushing you down. So have that nice little rest, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, and then get ready for our next exercise, which is a lunge. Now, lunges are painful, so understand this one as well. Take it at your own pace. Um, if you are struggling to do the 10 reps, maybe aim for eight, okay? And then next time, aim for 10. So slowly nicely controlled make sure you're going all the way down with this and uh, little tip here as well do not bounce your knees off the ground with lunges and that's where control comes in now with lunges um if you bring your feet closer in you can target your quads a lot more if you bring your feet a little bit wider you can target your glute hamstrings more so that's a little trick that i can help you guys out with and again 10 reps each leg is what we're aiming for as well too uh so instead of the four sets as we're going basically um with routine here what we're doing is we're splitting it up we're doing uh in it'll be basically two sets on each uh leg instead so four sets in total however but every single exercise over here follows the same principle as well but the beauty of this workout is a non-stop um action with it which actually helps keep that tension on the muscles and you guys are going to start to feel it like you have little breaks in between to um you know get you back on track and if you are feeling like you need that little bit of a rest break take your time and just jump in whenever so like i said it's a beginner to advance um level anyone can do this workout this is a good leg workout for anyone you can do it in the comfort of your own home and you're gonna get a nice little sweat on you can do it in the office as well um and yeah it's it's just a nice one to get you motivated get the blood flowing uh before your workout um before you you know you get on with your day. So it's, it's, it's a good one and it's a good easy one to get motivated and work out. So everyone should be doing this workout as well too. So at this point, yeah, I could start to feel my sweat on. I could start to feel my burn. Now, another thing that's probably going to be um, working with you as well too, your heart rate is one of the things you're going to notice. You're going to notice your heart rate uh, going through the roof because even though it is a resistance training workout or even though there's body weight resistance you are going to still be stimulating your cardiovascular system because your legs are such a big muscle group and that's why i emphasize on people train your legs train your legs because you always get 
your resistance workout done, you're going to get nice and sore, but you also um, get some cardiovascular training in as well. So it's something not to be missed. And I want you guys to take advantage of these things. Like I said, I'm here to give you guys and drop the knowledge bombs that can help you um, basically be a nice little shortcut to your gains. So I want to help you guys as much as possible, all your goals. Okay, now my little rest, I could really feel it. I could feel the hate in there. Whoo, it's getting hot in there. Now, next up, we've got our close stand squats as well too. Now, this is going to be very hard to maintain balance as well. And if your heels come off the ground, that's totally fine. Well, what we want to be doing is really pushing through the ball of our foot so we can get those quads really working, okay? Now, do something a little bit different here. You guys might notice. I'm actually trying my best to come up very controlled. Okay. Now, this is a slow concentric. So, I've written it in the description as slow um, C-O-N. Uh, now, what this does is it actually pushes me to actually activate those quads muscles. I'm working the activation phase of the movement as opposed to the... Um, you know, the stretch phase. The stretch phase is where most of your tears happen, but this is actually making the exercise essentially much harder, probably about two to three times harder than it actually is. So when we don't have weights, it's a good way for you to basically boost it. Now, when we turn over to the other side, uh, we're going to give it a slow eccentric, so slow negative instead. So just swapping it out a little bit as well too. Very, very easy to get thrown off balance, especially when you're trying to control. Now, whenever you guys are doing a squat, okay? Now, I want you guys to try, even if you're doing with weights, try going down as slow as possible. And notice how hard it is. It requires a lot of your core strength. It requires a lot of control to go down as slow as it is. But if you can control that, it will make you very, very efficient at your squat. Now, when you bring your um, stance in to a close stance squat, it becomes probably two or three times harder because you actually lose balance. So, a lot of the work is your balance and core work, but it actually puts a lot more tension on your core and balance. It makes it so much harder for you to execute the movement. And that's why I'm bringing this in for you guys, especially not having, you know, to throw on like a 50 or 100 kilos on your back. You've got a little nice little shortcut to do at home. Okay, so this is a great workout and I should probably name the title Shortcut to Growing Your Legs with Our Equipment because that ba that's basically it. I'm trying to drop it out here for you guys and help you guys as much as possible with all my knowledge that I've learned throughout my years as well. So anything that can help you guys, I'm all for it. I want to help you and see you guys succeed as much as possible. Then feel free to drop in the comments below. And guys, please watch my videos right to the end as well so YouTube will boost my algorithm and I can keep making videos for you daily, okay? I'm not missing any single day on this. I'm pushing out this content for you guys because I want to see you guys at your number one. I'm actually quite enjoying this as well. I'm enjoying the feedback from these as well too. So you see me at my worst, you see me at my best, but that's how it is, guys. Real on social media. There's not much editing with these videos as well too. That's what I like about it too. Uh, and you guys get to see more real, which is awesome. So yeah, at this point, my legs were being roasted, but we had almost hit 10 minutes as well too. So we're getting closer and closer and closer. So yeah, I could really, really feel, I could feel in my bones. And yeah, before I jumped on to my next one. And I was just having a look at my my time to see. But I reckon I was also having a look at how many calories I'd burnt as well in the workout. So overall, plus I did um, today, just a quick overview. I did the assault bike. I did some throwovers um, with my dead ball. And I also did a, um, I did some skipping as well. Overall, I burnt about 1,600 calories um, in total, plus this workout as well too. So a nice, great workout to start the day for me. And, you know, nothing better than a good sweat on. I just, you know what I love about training at home? I don't even care if I'm sweating. Like I'm when I, I get nice full sweat on and I'm in my zone and I'm working and I just I just get motivated by that. I just get keep getting that push to work in that hot, sweaty environment and then jump in the shower straight after. So it's it's preferential, except if I was outside, I kind of feel a little bit like weird, like, oh, uh, you know, I'm a bit sweaty, all that kind of stuff. Even with a towel, I still keep sweating. I sweat a lot, naturally. So <laughs> so I came here, I checked the timer. How long do we have left? I'm like, yes, we've got one more exercise to go. What's better than a nice little pump workout? This one's a frog squat. This is an absolute burner. If you guys have done this before, you're going to love it. And this really, really just keeps that tension consistently on your quadricep muscles. So you're going to feel a massive burn with this. But it's a great finish. And no better way to actually finish off your workout than a nice burner that pumps as much blood into the muscle and promotes growth as well as increases that tension on the muscles and forces them to grow. So this is this was awesome. This was honestly one of the best ways to end 
and my new equipments work out i really really pushed it through and yeah i really really felt the band with this one it really really got it working and that's what i liked about this one as well too um even though it looks like a <laughs> like a human twerk but um <laughs> Yeah, it's, I guess exercise teaches you to twerk if that's the way you want to put it. But uh, overall, it was a great workout. I'd honestly rate this workout because it's very quick, very easy. You can do it in the office at home, wherever you are. There's not much needed. There's no equipment needed. You just need you to absolutely smash this. And here's a quick flex of um, no edits just after my workout. Not sure why I'm flexing my upper body when I just did legs. But hey, thanks again for watching, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss out. Boys out. Peace.